The Bachelorette season has ended, and I am here to rank Jen's men. Uh, yeah. This season of The Bachelorette was great. I watched every episode. My history with the show is I watch it off and on. I, I, I started with Ari's season. That was boring. <laughs> well, Ari himself was boring. Uh, season is fine. Uh, but I watch off and on every season. Sometimes I skip some. Sometimes I go back. I, I watch a lot of recaps. Shout out Bachelor fan take. But I watched every episode of Jen's season. I liked it. Talked about it with my sisters. Uh talked at my co-workers about it <laughs> and uh yeah i liked the season i just finished the finale uh a day late and um i'm devastated <laughs> uh i i rooted for Devin all season long and my god uh what a nightmare we're in but i planned on doing this for a while now especially since i was keeping up with it week to week and uh here we are so that's my ramble. Let's let's get into it. Uh, we've got my tears. Um, how dare you? I don't like them. I don't remember. That's not good or bad. It's just I don't remember. A lot of the folks on these shows would fit in this category. It will probably be the biggest tier. They're fine. I don't love them. I don't like them necessarily. But they're fine. They're harmless. I remember them. They're fine. Uh, I like them, and Hakeem, um, no spoilers on who's going in there. Uh, <laughs> uh, first up is Ricky, who's a pharmaceutical representative. Shout out to this tier maker list that has their names and, uh, jobs. I, I don't remember any of their jobs, and to be honest, I only remember, like, maybe ten of these guys' names without the assistance of this. Ricky, unfortunately, is I don't remember. Matt, I don't remember. Let me just go through the I don't remember tree to get this out of the way. This guy, I don't remember. Uh, John, I don't remember John. Don't remember Kevin. Or Brendan. Or Dakota. Uh, remember these guys. Some of these guys I remember, but I'm like, do I remember them? Keem, Sam, oh, I don't remember you, sorry. Um, okay. This is the I don't remember tier, and I'm looking at someone, I'm like, do I remember them? Uh, first of the actual list is Aaron. Um, known for having a pearl necklace. Known for his brother Noah being on the show. I... I watched enough of Tasha season to not like Noah, and I watched Bachelor in Paradise and was like, he's fine, whatever. Um, Aaron, I really, I did like him. He's not quite in a how dare you. He was very condescending, very, he just assumed he knew what was best for Jen, and that drove me crazy. Uh, but there, is he how dare you? Maybe if this was, like, the audacity, he'd belong here, but I don't like them. Uh, dislike's too strong. He he was up and out of there pretty quick. Uh, if he lasted another week or two, he'd be in How Dare You, but I don't like Aaron. Um, yeah. The thing, and he, at the mental all, when he was like, and Spencer, I didn't think was ready, because he just got over, he, like, he's... His divorce or his wife passed. I don't even remember the situation, but he's like, I didn't think he was ready. And that's like that. You know, now that I've said it, he's in How Dare You. The first uh, offender. I don't like him. We'll see him on Bachelor in Paradise, and I'm going to be annoyed about it. Austin's next. Austin. Um, <laughs> Austin, I remember not so much of because of anything he did, but my uh, youngest sister... Uh, really likes Austin. She's like, I liked Austin, and she doesn't like most people on this show. And I think because she liked him, I remembered him. But was was he all the way? And I like him. Uh, he had that he he had his moment in the the racing date, I guess. And then he felt like he wasn't far enough along or something, and that's why he left. I'll put him in. They're fine. They're he's he's fine. I don't I don't know enough about this guy to say I like him. Jeremy's next. I like Jeremy. He's on thin ice because he's clubbing with Devin, but I don't know that situation. So I'll give 
Jeremy the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the lesson that I should have taken away from the finale is to not give uh, <laughs> men on this show the benefit of the doubt. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Jeremy, he was fine on the show. He'd be here most of the season. He was sometimes funny. His hometown date uh, of grocery shopping is something that... Uh, I, I don't keep up too much with the online chatter. Uh, I'll kind of like check it when it's trending Tuesday night or Monday night or whatever it is. And I'll, you know, I'll read comments of like the recaps that I watch. And um, I f he got a little bit of like... A little bit of brouhaha for like you took this girl to your to your town's grocery store, but um, I I would do something like that because I'm I'm stupid. <laughs> like just a just a date that's not overwhelming, not underwhelming. It's just like why why did you think this was a good idea? Um, however, uh, I I liked I liked the singing and dancing animatronics at the grocery store, which is why I'm like I kind of get it. So Jeremy's and I like him. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, he's fine, but he's not in. He's fine. He's in. I like him. He's, you know, good enough. Jonathan. Jonathan's and I like him. I'll put him. I didn't. I'm not going to rank those other ones, but I'll put uh, Jonathan above Jeremy. Jonathan was someone the whole time where I was like, I like Jonathan. I never felt super strongly about him. I never thought he was going to be the pick um the guy at the end of the journey but i felt strongly enough that he was gonna go pretty far him and jen were cute and funny uh he got real real dogged on that uh, that apple picking date where they just did not have stuff to do so they played hide and seek that was kind of funny to think about um also his job is creative director which makes me think what does what does that mean like what is what does this man do what is he a creative director for? I don't know. Uh, but Jonathan's Jonathan. I like Jonathan. I got nothing against him. He's uh, he's him. Jeremy's above. They're fine. Uh, he's a funny guy. Nice enough guy. Isn't the nice Jonathan? Not on the nice. Was pleasant the whole season. I loved his um, his intro in the premiere of like the bandages and stuff um, and. The fact that he is a handsome guy absolutely helps. Pretty, pretty creative. Hence the job. All right. Um, Marcus is next. Marcus is tricky. Uh, I feel like he might be full of baloney. That's kind of my thing. Is uh, he would be, and I like them because it's like uh, I, I felt I knew Jen liked them a whole lot. I he's a little like dry like uh, one issue with the guys on every season of the show is that they're just like i don't want to say normal but just kind of like n normal or bland it's it's weird that i said i don't want to say normal when bland is worse bland of just like i'm sure they have a, a good personality when you're talking to them but watching them on the tv it's just like i know nothing about this person I feel nothing strong about them. They're they're nice enough, I guess, but nothing's coming through. So he was like, he'd be here and kind of worked his way up because him and Jen had a connection and all that. But um, him not saying I love you to Jen, him struggling the whole time. I think he knew he didn't want to get engaged for a little bit now and kind of kept it to himself. And on top of that and being kind of bland and it not working out i'll put him in there fine i'll actually put him below austin uh because i'm like i like jeremy's on the nice marcus is like i am fully paranoid that he's maybe full of beans brett brett's brett's and i like him of jeremy uh brett is a chubby uh a, a big chubby man who's goofy and i feel like uh I, I felt seen when he got cast in the show. I saw this man do a cartwheel, uh, and or what was it a cartwheel? He he did something, some form of gymnastics, and I was like, "All right, there's there's hope for all of us." Uh, so I I like him. What night one boot? I don't care. He's and I like him. Uh, I'm excited that he's going to be on Paradise. I loved 
the menthol segment with them. I'm a Brett fan. If you don't like Brett, I don't like you. Uh, Brian, a fellow Brian. I think this was the guy that uh, swooped in on Jer. I think Jeremy had the car intro in night one, and Brian was the guy who's like, he he got in on that. He spoke at the mental on. I don't remember what he said. I always just felt like he was skeezy, so I've got him and I don't like him. I don't feel strongly enough about him to put him in. How dare you? Uh, and he's definitely not in. They're fine. He's in. I don't like him. Um, I don't hate him. We'll probably see him in Paradise too, I think. Devin, oh my god. At the top of How Dare You. For just like... I I rooted for him all season. I felt like he, you know, he got heat for the pulling genocide on the group date. I loved that. I thought, that makes sense. Why don't we see that more often? I thought it was childish that he interrupted Aaron's one-on-one -on -one time. But... Uh, but I get it, uh, and also make the most of your time. I thought Thomas N was being a, a weenie baby, getting mad at him for pulling Jen. That later group date, I thought Sam was being a baby. I rooted for Devin the whole way. I thought he's funny. He's maybe I, I could see him being abrasive in real life or like too much of a big personality, but he's very much himself. He he wore it, it, his heart on his sleeve. He was all in on Jen and was sad that she wasn't all in him. A thing that I think is pretty relatable in the show and I'm surprised we don't see that uh, more often with everyone. <laughs> um, and I was I was like, they're gonna get engaged. I, I figured the, the tease we were getting of like something you've never seen before was, oh, Jen's gonna choose Devin. Jen's gonna propose to Jevin. And that did happen, uh, but it was a nightmare uh, because she, Stuff did not work out. So, uh, devastated by Devin. If I see this man in the street, I'll fight him. Um, so yeah, uh, I hate Devin. I hope we don't see him in paradise. I believed in him and I was let down tragically. Uh, not as tragically as Jen, who uh, was amazing in the finale. Oh my gosh. Like, she went in on him and was like, she did not let up and, like, absolutely valid. Oh my god, uh, Jed, probably my favorite Bachelor of the seasons I've watched, which is really only Becca Kufrin's season onward. Uh, I just feel like Jen was one of the more normal, like, someone that I could see myself just, like, meeting in a day-to-day, -day, where a lot of the other f leads on these shows are, like, uh, they just don't seem like real people. I don't know how to explain it other than that. Jen seems like a, a, a normal person in a good way. Just fun, bubbly. Uh, yeah. Uh, I love Jen. I, I'm glad she did not give this man any slack. Um, Dylan? He was on the cusp of I don't remember, but I, feel, I just see his face and I'm like, I think I liked him, so I'll put him in there fine because I'm not sure. Grant I did like. Uh, I'll put him... I'll put him above Brett. We saw a lot of Grant. Grant was uh, bubbly, happy, fun the whole time. I was surprised he got picked as the Bachelor, but I'm not upset about it. Uh, I just feel like uh, I surprised he didn't go further to be the one that got picked. But I was like, yeah, you know, I've had people not make it to the, like the last couple picks be the Bachelor. I think Jen was like sixth on Joey season and. Uh, I thought she was a great lead. Uh, Grant, uh, I liked his singing. Uh, I liked, uh, I thought the way he, like, talked with Jen was always fun. So I like Grant. I think he's good. I'm, I'm on board for him being the lead. Him calling his mom, like, that footage of the mental was sweet, too. Moe's. I remember him saying, like, Moe's Dangerous or something was his name. Uh, the main thing I remember about Moe's is him talking about, yeah, ghost people. Uh, and with confidence, um, I, to be honest, I like Moe's because he's ridiculous, but let's be real, I don't like Moe's. What are you doing on this show, boy? Uh, excited to see him in paradise. I hope it goes poorly. Uh, Sam, Sam's a not I don't like Sam. Uh, I like him. Wait, I, okay. Devin should be here, because I... How dare, how dare you the most at Devon? Um, Mo's... I like Mo's more than 
and Brian. I like Sam in the middle there. Okay, I don't like Sam. Uh, I thought the, the strip tease date where he's like, I'm falling for you or whatever it was. Um, I didn't hate it. It's it's too much too soon for sure. I don't think it's like the most insane thing. It's not Luke P and Hannah B.C.'s and I'm genuinely falling in love with you. That was more intense and stupid. This was stupid, but uh, not as intense. And I think it's uh, a good workaround of like, he's probably uncomfortable to strip and all that. So he did this instead. And I'm like, that's fine. I, I wish he'd said that. Uh, and maybe not I'm falling in love. I don't know, whatever. Um, but then he got too weird at the, the group date and it all blew up in his face, which is unfortunate and a little funny. Marvin's another one that I'm like, I remember liking, but I don't remember him for sure. So I'll put him in there. Fine. Thomas N. He's not, no, he's in, he's a, the, not as egregious as Devin, not as condescending as Aaron. Like Aaron, I wanted to punch in the face. Devin, I want to fight with my whole being. Thomas, I don't want to fight him. I just want him to get over himself. Like, he, was, he didn't give enough time to Jen. He's just all obsessed about these other boys. He wanted to fight Devin. He wanted to fight Thomas. The the Him pulling someone. He pulled Sam in. Not Sam in. He pulled, you know, Sam in. He pulled him aside and was like, gosh. Like, he's like, get over yourself, bro. Spencer. I like Spencer. Yeah, I liked Spencer. He, I, he's some the whole time where I was like, I like this guy. Uh, I don't remember him super, super well, but he was there most of the way. Unproblematic, as far as I remember. Uh, caught astray at the mental all, unnecessarily, uh, which is maybe why he sticks out more than the their fine group where I'm like, I kind of, like these two I remember Marcus is obviously like one of the people you think of first with this season, but he's on, um, I don't know about him. Austin, I remember because my sister, these two, I remember liking, but I don't remember why or enough about them, so that's where they're here. Spencer, I'm like, I remember liking him. I also don't necessarily remember why, but this is more in my thoughts than uh, the their fine group and the, you know, all these other guys. Uh, Sam. He's in the how dare you, probably in between Thomas and Aaron. Aaron, I want to punch more. Thomas was annoying, but not on the level. Sam, the, the keep the main thing, the main thing is annoying. The way he speaks, I, I don't know. Something about it feels fake or phony. My, that's kind of my whole thing with him was, aside from the Devin stuff, which like keep the main, the main thing all about Jen, he wasn't. He was a whiny baby about Devin for sure. Uh, and, and him in. Uh, he's a judgmental guy for sure. Um, aside from that, he just seems like all catchphrases and slogans. I just think he's probably a superficial person. He doesn't like the whole like Jen kind of clocking him on like, but why, but why, and him not having an explanation. Like, I don't know how you can feel something and not be able to explain it, uh, with maybe some exceptions. Like, I like this show. But I don't know why. I don't. I don't think I gain anything from it other than like it's fun to talk about with my siblings. Uh, but I don't know. I, I don't know other than that. Where most things in my life, I'm like, oh, I know why. But if I feel something, if I like, if I like a person, or like, uh, if I don't like a person, I I can explain why. It's crazy that he was like, I'm in love with you, or falling in love, and he couldn't explain why, and that, that whole date with the radio station, oh my gosh, like one of the most insane foot and mouth things I've ever seen on this show. So I, I strongly dislike this man, we're gonna see him in paradise, and he's gonna have a whole lot of nothing to say. A whole lot of nothing to say was like the whole thing with it. And of course Hakeem. Hakeem just sparks joy, he's always, happy he's laughing he's uplifting the the other men around him he was so excited when jonathan was hot when he took the bandages off in night one that always stuck out to me uh scared of the spiders just very he's very expressive and he's very happy and i like both of those things on their own you add them together it's great he's uh very lovely and pleasant at the men tell all he was uh in with the the secret lives of Mormon wives crew at the finale um 
and I just see him and I feel happy. I hope in Bachelor in Paradise he doesn't break my heart and he falls in love and is funny. That's the dream. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to say. Uh, that's the men, everything I can think of with these guys. In terms of the season as a whole, I watched the whole thing, which doesn't always happen. Um, so I'd say it was a good season. Jen is the lead. I really felt like she was like a pretty normal and relatable person, but still like fun and bubbly. Um, like I called one of these guys normal and I meant to, I re, what I really meant was they're kind of like bland or like a normal everyday person, but like nothing stands out. Jen, there are a lot of things that stand out. She's fun. She's bubbly. Uh, she will say what's on her mind. She knows what she wants. And, um, yeah. And also I loved the idea of proposing to Devin. Like if he didn't turn out to be a D bag. Uh, that is a beautiful ending to their story of like he felt insecure and she decides to choose him Because um, her whole thing like she didn't feel chosen by Marcus uh, And Devin didn't feel chosen by her and it's like Devin's given me uh, ev You know everything I need and now I can return the favor kind of it's like that's that's really bold and not something that we see from the lead like the the leads during their seasons always feel like these like they're propped up or, or put, kind of put on a pedestal, sort of, and uh, for Jen to turn that narrative on its head at the end, I thought was really cool and uh, kind of beautiful for their specific journey, even though it didn't work out. Uh, so I love Jen. Uh, I hate most of, uh, I hate most men, I guess. <laughs> All right, I don't remember a lot of them. I don't like a few. How dare you? They're fine. And then I like him. And then Hakeem. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. On to Joan.